Dr. Shana, you ever hear about uh, that trick that putting shaving cream on your mirror while you're taking a shower, it can actually help the fog from fogging up? What are you, 12? Yes, I actually have heard about that. And that's what we're gonna do today is actually test that out, not for your mirrors, but for your glasses. We've heard a lot of patients say that this works amazing, but I don't know how many people actually tried it out and can actually tell me which is the best one that works. So today we are going to try five different brands of shaving cream and see which is the champion. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Schneid from True Focus Eye Care, and this is Jordan. He's one of our ophthalmic technicians at True Focus, and he's gonna help me test these products out. So today we're gonna try these five different shaving creams to see which DIY hack is best, which one uh, is the most efficient, uh, what the cost is relevant to that. I hope it should be fun. So let's focus on shaving cream. So our goal is to find the ultimate product of anti-fog abilities to see if we can get through this year 2020 without losing our minds. One of the things I wanna make sure that we do, uh, Jordan, is I wanna make sure that we're not uh, completely unrealistic in our expectations for these products. I'm not trying to find something that um, is perfect where there is no fog, no moisture, no nothing. I'm just trying to find the best product that we have on the table. In another video, we tested five products that we found on Amazon that actually advertises that it keeps the fog off your glasses. If you wanna see that video, it's gonna be in the card above right over here. And what we actually found with that test is that there were some that worked really well in keeping the fog off, but there was always just a little bit of moisture on that lens. So again, I would love to find the holy grail that has no moisture, no fog, but as long as we have less fog, that's a winner in my book. So tell me, Jordan, do you think you have the expertise that it takes to help me figure out which product keeps the glasses from fogging up that we can share to all these lovely people out there? Well, Dr. Schnei, I think I'm qualified enough. I know enough about the glasses that we're wearing and we've got all the ingredients right here. So we're gonna go ahead and test it. What more could you need? So we're gonna try a few different ways to test this out. So nobody tells me I did it wrong or I should have done it a different way. So the two major ways that we're gonna try this out is to have uh, some time set aside where it's gonna sit on the lens and then something that's gonna be a little quick, we're gonna put it on and just wipe it off. Technically, we're gonna do four different ways. We're gonna let it wait, and then we're gonna rinse it off. We're gonna let it wait and just wipe it off. And we're gonna do a quick rinse, quick wipe, and see which works the best. All right, so these five shaving creams we got here. Um, so first we've got Nivea Men, and what this has is no rubbing alcohol. So that's actually gonna be better for the shaving cream. If you can, you're gonna to wanna to try to find something that doesn't have a lot of alcohol because that could possibly do some damage to your glasses. Next, we've got the Barbasol Close Shave Classic, pretty straightforward shaving cream. All right, we've got some Cremo here too. Um, this is more of a premium shaving cream. So it's got a nice wooden scent to it. All right, next we've got the Gillette Travel sh Shaving Cream. Uh, basically just your pretty straightforward foam shaving cream. And then the last thing we've got is the Edge Soothing Aloe Shaving Cream. So let's find out what works the best. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna work on all these and get right back to you. All right, let's do this. Different too. It's real spreadable. Nice. Looks like butter. I know, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Looks like a like a. Okay, trash can sticks to you guys. A weird butter. A weird butter? Yeah, like a whipped butter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so that's all the ones that we're gonna wait. So we're gonna let them all wait for about three minutes each, and then we're gonna wipe half of them and we're gonna rinse the other half. So we're gonna put that to the side and start working on the others. And with those, we're gonna just apply and right away wipe it off and right away rinse it off. Okay. <music> While we're 
working on these, putting the shaving creams on, go ahead and drop a comment below and let us know which shaving cream you think is going to be the most effective for keeping the fog down on our glasses. Which one do you think is going to be the best? Um, I think I'm going to go with the edge over there. The gel? The gel. Man. They spread real nice, and I got to say, I just kind of like the smell of it, too. I'm going to go with the underdog with the little guy, so. There you go. We'll see. All right, let's get, let's get this done. All right, guys, I think we waited long enough to allow these to sit with the shaving cream on it. So half of them we're going to wipe and half of them we are going to rinse off. All right, so we're going to do that now. If you notice, I was wiping everything and we were being very careful with not cross-contaminating each uh, shaving cream with the wipes that we were using. So we were very intentional on where we were wiping those lenses. And also, if you notice me wiping some of the lenses that we were getting back from Teresa that were being rinsed, I was wiping the water off the lens because you wouldn't be wearing uh, glasses with water spots on it. So that's kind of one of the things I wanted to test out is if you do rinse it, and you wipe it, are you gonna wipe the product off or is it gonna stay on that lens? So let's go ahead and try these products off with a steamer and see how they do. And back, and again. So A is looking pretty good. Hold it a little longer, let's give it a good shot. And back. So A's not really B, it's pretty good. Not much. I do see the little film on there. Mmm, yeah, B is horrible. Your C is looking pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. sure is. Come back, Teresa. So it seems like the rinse is not great. Mmm. Three A's, so far so good. Three C's all right. Not too good, actually, it's okay. Okay, <laughs> I'd say A is probably the best one. Okay, good. Come back, wow, that's terrible. Three again. Okay, Teresa, killing it. Yeah, A looks pretty good. Does have that film, but way better than the others. Swap the, go to the top and bottom. And swap your arms and do it again. Fair enough. Go, bring your arms up. Get a little toasty. Looks good. Um, C's my best. A again. A, yeah. Told you this would be the best. It is pretty good. Um, uh, D is pretty good. Let's try it one more time. I think these ones are probably the most similar. Most consistent for sure. See ya. Okay. Your song looks all right. Mine are pretty. No, Sean's doesn't look great from this angle. Good. So I'm gonna drop this out, keep the bottom one, drop the other two out, keep this one. And, all right, Teresa, you're killing it. <laughs> all right. It's on fire. All right, I think two and four seems to be the best. Now, which, go ahead and Sean out. All right, come back and out. 
Which one? All right. I think neither one of them is great in the fact that it's got that film. Yours is better though, all right. Okay. All right, so we tried them all, tested them all, and you guys kind of saw what we were looking at as far as how clear that lens was and how little fog that you could see. So I just gotta say, little guy was pretty awesome, okay? I would say that was definitely the best lens, but I would say Jordan's Hydro 5 Chic Blue Gel was the most consistent. Right. All right, so with our results, um, what Dr. Shania and I found was the most consistent results actually didn't vary with the brand of shaving cream, but whether how we applied it. The lenses that we had applied the shaving cream to that um, actually we had let sit for three to five minutes or so actually had the best results versus the ones that we had just put on there and either immediately wiped or immediately rinsed. We did notice that uh, the variants of shaving creams basically did about the same results. So whatever you have at home should do the job. So if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel if you like videos like this that talks about eye care products and eye care health and tips and tricks to help you have better vision. And also make sure to click that bell icon so you can get notified every time we put out a new video. So remember, stay well, stay safe, stay foggy free. And we'll see you next video. All right, see you guys.